Hello and welcome to module 5. In this module, we are going to learn certain advanced concepts regarding file permissions, which will help or which will give us more control on how we can access the files and directories. So the first concept that we are going to learn is the use of sticky bit, which help or which prevents the group members from deleting the files. So sticky bit means that no one can delete the content of the directory except the owner of that directory. So how to set the sticky bit? You will use the chmod command and start the command by one. So one and then followed by the regular permission. So one here specifies the sticky bit on the directory dir. Now let us understand this concept a little more with the help of an example. So let us suppose that there are two users Virat and Saurabh. Virat wants to work with Saurabh, so he creates a group Linux and then he creates a directory common. So whatever project they are working upon, they will keep all those files in the common directory. And now since they have formed a group, so Virat gives that group the permissions read, write and execute for the directory common. Now this means that every member of this Linux group so either Virat or Saurabh, they can create and delete files within the directory common. Now what can happen is that Saurabh may delete intentionally or unintentionally the files created by Virat or Virat can delete the files created by, created by Saurabh within the directory common. To prevent this, we will use the concept of sticky bit. So what sticky bit will do, it will allow Virat and Saurabh to create files within the common directory, but they will not be able to delete the files created by the other member. Let us now first create the setup. So let me add the users Virat and Saurabh. So user adds Virat, user add Saurabh. It already exists, fine. So now I'm going to delete the password for both so that I can directly log in without remembering the passwords for both. You can set the password also not an issue. Alright, so both my users are created. Now let me create that group. So group pad Linux. So as of now lid minus g Linux there is no member in this group. Okay. So since both Virat and Saurabh want to work together, so we can add them to this particular group. So user mod minus G Virat uh, Linux and we are adding Virat. Similarly, we are adding Saurabh also. We can check now. So now you can see both these users are member of the group Linux. Alright, so now let me shift into the user Virat. Who am I? Virat, right. Now, why we have created the group? Because Virat wants to work with Saurabh on a particular project. So as of now, there's nothing in the Virat's user directory, which is home Virat. So Virat creates a directory common where both of these users can work. So let us check the permissions on common. So you can see that as of now, the group is not having, the group is Linux, but the group mem group is not having the right permission. So if the group members are not having the right permission, this means what? They will not be able to create any files or delete any files within common. So, but since Virat wants that Saurabh should also work. So Saurabh should have the liberty to create new files if necessary. So what we are going to do is, or what Virat is going to do is change mod group plus write on common. Now the group members are having the write permission also. All right. So what Virat does is Virat creates a file within common and names it as project. 
and now Saurabh also wants to work on this file. So what Saurabh will do, Saurabh will also try to log in. So let us make sure that Saurabh has access to this particular directory. So for that, we need to change the permissions for slash home slash Virat also for Saurabh. So if I show you here, ls minus ld. So except for Virat, nobody is having any other permissions. Okay, so let me give here the permissions, read and execute. So group can read slash home slash Virat and group can execute also slash home slash Virat. All right, everything is set now. Let us now shift to the user Saurabh. I Saurabh. So now let us change the directory to slash home slash Virat. All right, we are there. So you can see, let us now shift to common. So now Saurabh sees that there is already a file project and might be some work has been done on this file. Now, if Saurabh wants to create a new file here, he can because the group members are having the right permission. So he creates the another file SRS LS fine. Now by mistake or intentionally also if he now runs the command RM and deletes project. Yes, the file is deleted. But who has created that project file? Virat has created that project file. File SRS is created by Saurabh and is still there but the one that was created by Virat is deleted now. So now Virat is very angry. So what he can do is, let us change back to Virat. What Virat can do is he can use change mod one and keep rest of the permission same on the common directory. What were the permissions on common directory? You can see seven, seven and five. So change mod one, seven, seven, five on common, right? Now let's shift to common. The file created by Saurabh is already there. So now Virat once again creates the project file, project underscore new, let's suppose ls minus l so you can see virat has created project underscore new now saurabh once again logs into the system who am i saurabh he again moves into home virat and common checks what is there so he again sees that there is a file by virat project new and now he tries to delete it again. RM project new. Yes, but this time he gets an error operation not permitted. Is the file there? Yes. Now, why we are getting this error? Because Virat has set the sticky bit on the directory common by using this chmod 1775 command on the directory common. So, one here in the beginning helps to set the sticky bit on the directory common which means that the members of the group will not be able to delete the files which they do not own. So that's why Saurabh is not able to delete the file created by Virat. But can he delete his own file? RMSRS, yes, he can delete his own file. Can he still create new files? SRS new, yes, he can still create new files so that was all about the use of sticky bit. In the next video, we are going to learn about two more commands, set UID and set GID.